Hi, my name is Bodo, and I'm a collective intelligence scientist and serial entrepreneur. Ten years back, after exiting a company I founded, I built a learning management system that Google took on. I moved on to experimenting with collective intelligence on ways we can rapidly accelerate the rate at which we learn things and then apply that learning to actually do things. And we worked all over the world doing this research, from the slums of East Africa to K-12 and higher institutions in the US and Japan, and then also homeschooling environments and makerspaces in India. It was with this research and experimentation into collective intelligence that we started to build the knowledge tool set I'm about to present to you. However, it was during this research and experimenting phase of this work that something terrible happened to my daughter. She got a rare polio-like disease and became almost entirely paralyzed, losing the use of the limbs. With no treatments we could afford and only a 2% chance of recovery, we had to try to solve this problem ourselves. Suddenly, this experimental work we were doing to accelerate learning became quite personal. We discovered there were brain-controlled exoskeletons being developed behind closed doors in prestigious labs that could treat paralysis, but their solutions were closed to us and we couldn't afford them. So the question was, could we rapidly learn to build one ourselves? We used the knowledge research we've been conducting to create a personalized map of all the concepts we needed to learn that lay between our current understanding and our learning goal. But time was running out. Each day without movement would make it more difficult for our motor neurons to regenerate. Notice, however, there are no courses for how to build a brain-controlled exoskeleton. This is one of the big challenges within traditional education. There are never courses that teach us exactly what we need to learn. In fact, 82% of what's been taught in courses is irrelevant to the learner's current needs, and 42% of what's been taught will be obsolete by the time the learner needs to use it. In addition, we did not want to learn all of medical science or electronics and machine learning and brain-controlled interfaces. We only needed to learn relevant sections that related to the learning goal. There is so much wasted effort being spent within traditional educational models, and we didn't have time for any of it. However, the graph we built didn't have any of those issues. Not only did it include the exact content and resources we needed to learn from, but also links to relevant experts. You see, doctors and neurologists told us we were crazy and what we were trying to do were impossible. So when we needed to figure out brain signal processing, for example, we instead went directly to signal processing experts, like the team at CERN, who, unlike our doctors, did not know that what we were doing was apparently impossible. Each step of the way, this graph put us in touch with different experts in particular fields from around the world. We feel that this is how future learning needs to work, and it's fundamentally different to how traditional education is set up. Well, it took just seven months, and with the help of hundreds of experts around the world, we did it. We actually built a brain-controlled exoskeleton that helped my daughter move again. It was 100 times cheaper and 10 times lighter than anything else, but best of all, it did the impossible. After many months, my daughter got her movement back in a paralyzed arm. She now goes around the world telling her story and inspiring others. But my question to you is, would we have achieved this had we used traditional education and ed tech? And I think you would agree with me when I say no. We would probably still be stuck on first year medical science not having achieved anything. Our educational systems just can't keep up. But why? There are so many companies innovating in ed tech and spending is going through the roof. However, over the last 20 years, we've seen stagnation in learning outcomes. So the question is why? We think the reason is that focus has been on trying to optimize the current educational system. It's similar to the 1900s when Henry Ford was tackling an analogous problem. The vast majority of the market was working on optimizing the existing system of horse-drawn carriages. They were trying to make faster horses. Instead of recognizing like Henry Ford did, that we don't need faster horses, we need something completely new. And so let me tell you about what we're building. It's not a faster horse, it's something completely new. A full end-to-end -end solution that helps learners find things that they want to learn, helps experts from around the world share their knowledge and guide learners to achieve mastery, and then empowers the application of what's been learned to solve real-world challenges. Our visionary solution consists of three parts. The first part is the Knowledge AI. It's about to be launched in the next couple of weeks, so let me start there. If you recall the challenges I mentioned a few minutes ago, 42% of what we learn will be obsolete and 82% of courses are irrelevant. One major reason for all of this is that it takes such an incredible long time to create interactive educational content. For one hour of educational content, it's usual to spend tens of hours trying to create it, costing in excess of $15,000. Knowledge AI is a solution. 
You see, anyone can take any resources they may have, be it YouTube videos, textbooks, reports, PDFs, audio files, web pages, and upload them to our AI. It will then analyze the semantic meaning of what's being discussed in those resources, and then auto-generate a library of active learning content, like quizzes and fill in the blanks and interactive videos and games and so much more, that can then easily be plugged into any LMS or embedded and played on any device. What used to take instructional designers hours can now be done by anyone in minutes, saving thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours. And the results are in from our closed beta launch. The companies we've worked with have reported that it's 50 times faster for them to generate interactive learning content, and that this has resulted in it being more than 20 times cheaper. On the learner side, they've reported that it's increased completions by up to 85% and retention by 75%. So that is Knowledge AI. But now let me briefly describe to you what the knowledge graph and the knowledge protocol are. Because even though knowledge AI is a powerful tool on its own, it's part of something that is orders of magnitude more impactful and valuable. The knowledge graph is like a map, the same type of map my daughter and I use to build a brain-controlled exoskeleton. However, this map is far larger and is generated in the background as the knowledge AI generates interactivities. It does so by analyzing the semantic meaning of what's in the resources and then chunking up the content into concepts that we then map out onto the graph. Resources are then added to those concepts, which include the interactives we automatically generated, but also related resources like Wikipedia articles, segments of YouTube videos, websites, documents, and podcasts. Then the AI generates links between those concepts, and you can think of these as the roads we can travel on through this map. And lastly, it groups a bunch of concepts and links together into recommended pathways based on the content it's just analyzed. This generates a graph of human knowledge that is ready to generate dynamic maps of all the concepts that lie between the learner's current understanding and their learning goals, be it building a brain-controlled exoskeleton, becoming a marine biologist, or solving a grand challenge. The protocol is then what ties it all together. It matches learners and experts with knowledge and resources that are mapped out on the graph. It helps learners find things that they want to learn, earn recognized proof of their learning, and unlock real-world opportunities with that proof, directly tying what's been learned with job opportunities and global challenges that need to be solved. While at the same time, it empowers experts to share their expertise while earning royalties and to earn ownership in the protocol as they contribute to it. But you are gonna to have to wait a few more months to learn more about the graph and the protocol. This is Knowledge, a collective intelligence engine powered by AI.